is going on everybody welcome back to RC Car Garage and today we got ourselves another recent 124 scale crawler now this is supposed to be the version 2 of the 124 scale that they came out with last year apparently supposedly this is supposed to have better steering angle and better modulation supposedly but we're gonna find that out Hopefully you guys ended up seeing my other video that I made of the version one last year. I'll put a link over here somewhere. You guys go check that out. And it was just bad, straight out of the box. The passenger side rear wheel axle all came off. Um, hopefully this one is better than the last one was uh i didn't even know that they came out with a version 2 somebody actually commented on my last video with the pinecone model sg2403 asking how this one would compare against the pinecone model so i figured hey if they came out with another version a version 2 maybe just maybe it might be better but we're going to open up this guy and we're going to find out how much better it really is. So let's open up the box and see what we got in here. All right, so opening up the box, you do end up getting a user manual that comes with it uh, you get two batteries I already took one out I have a charging right now so you end up getting two batteries you get your charger and they also send out four AA batteries so you can just put the batteries in and start going along with it all right so it does end up bringing the same controller like the version one ended up bringing which I do have Right here, as you guys can see, it is exactly the same. So you got your light button right there that controls the lights. You got your steering trim. You have your throttle trim, which is this one here, your steering trim. And that right here is just an LED light. And you do have, still have, and you do still have a foam grip on the steering wheel, which actually is, pretty hard but it feels pretty nice to the touch now coming to the Jeep again this is a hard body Jeep and I can tell you one thing the servo on here I can already tell the servo one here is a lot different than it was on the other one uh, they supposedly fix the steering angle on this and Again, like I said, the modulation is supposed to be better on this, but we are going to end up finding that out. So again, it is basically the same chassis, same everything. Um, you do have the four body clips on the bottom that you're able to take off the body. The shocks on here, they are still friction shocks like it was on the old one. And it just, as you guys can see, just bounces all over the place but I mean for 70 bucks I believe this thing was it is what it is it's friction shocks uh, you do have a full-size spare tire that comes on the back and on the all four corners you basically have the same exact wheels that came with the version one as you guys can see the version one is white and the version two is blue. I decided to get it in the blue so I could tell them apart. Now, in the version one, again, it basically, body-wise, it basically looks all the same. It kind of seems like this one sits a little bit lower. Now, they did end up doing some changes to the body. As you guys can see on the version one, what the front, the grill looks like. And on the version two, you can see that it has a meaner looking grill here on the front. So they still use Phillips hardware on here. The one thing I do want to check and make sure is 
make sure that everything is nice and tidy on here. It all seems like it is nice and secure. This side still feels like it's a little loose. The passenger side rear wheel. But I do gotta say, it seems like it is a little bit better. The steering angle seems like it is a little bit better compared to the version one. Um, here is a version one axle, steering axle, and as you guys can see, there really is no, <laughs> there really is no steering angle with this. So compared to the new one, you guys can see the difference on how much angle it ended up getting with the new version. So taking off the body, you can see that there is wires coming from the two in one ESC that is going to the body that has lights on the front and lights on the rear also. So checking out the two in one ESC that's in here, they do look to be like they are exactly the same receiver. So I am not really expecting much when it comes to modulation on this. Uh, the servo, so the servo, they still have it mounted the exact same way that it is on the version one. As you guys can see, the servo here, it's still in that little box type of enclosure like the version one was and I mean being able to change the servo you can still do it the only thing is that you're gonna have to chop the ears off and you have to use that casing that is on that it, that it comes with so it looks to me like everything is basically still the same they did end up doing a couple things the chassis is the same um, ladder frame chassis that was on the first one and I can honestly say I'm not sure <laughs> I am really not sure how this is going to work out I'm still a little skeptical about this but somebody ended up commenting how this would compare to the Pinecone model SG2403. So that is basically one of the reasons why I got this one to compare this to the SG24, SG2403 Pinecone model. So what I'm gonna wind up doing right now is I have, the battery is now fully charged. I'm gonna put the battery in here, put the body back on, put the batteries in the controller, and we are gonna see how this guy is going to work. Let's check out and see how the modulation is with this guy. And then we'll take it outside to the mini crawler course and see how this guy does. And probably tackle it against the SG2403. So I had to give it a pretty good amount of throttle to be able to get this guy to go over that tire. Let's try that one again. And I mean articulation is not bad, but Modulation wise, so let's go this way. She just rockets on the road. 
let's take it out to the mini crawler course and see how it does again i'm not expecting much but we'll give it a shot anyway and we'll take the sg2403 and compare the both Swear I won't forget this, why do I regret this? In my mind reckless, thoughts are feeling endless Sitting up I'm breathless, anxiety's infectious I feel so defenseless, betrayed and embarrassed I hate being open, I hate being broken I feel like an ocean filled up with emotion Anger ain't a potion, rub it on like lotion I can feel it soaking, reopen, the scars have awoken I can't move on till I let go I feel so lost, never at home Need to be strong, every breath hold Cause I can't move on till I let go I can't move on till I let go I feel so lost, never at home Need to be strong, every breath hold Cause I can't move on till I let go All right, you guys, and there it is, the Pineco model SG2403 and the Racent version two. I have got to say that the Racent, they did adjust, they did fix the steering angle on it. The one thing I didn't realize in the office was that the steering door rate was not adjusted 100%. I adjusted the steering door rate 100% on it. The steering angle did get a lot better. Modulation wise, the electronics still are not there. The Pineco model, the one thing I can say about this is that modulation wise, it is good. It is really good modulation wise for a $70 RC. But with this body, the one thing you're not gonna get is very good articulation out of it. Any way you turn it, the wheels are just hitting the body. So yes, do they look nice? They look very nice. Uh, modulation is good steering not bad articulation horrible with this body I would say with the SG2403 you're probably better off getting either the Hummer body either Hummer body the truck or the SUV or I believe it's the FJ Cruiser you might end up getting better articulation out of it now the racing I'm gonna say exactly the same thing I said with the first version that came out I would not recommend it. Either way, I would not recommend either of these. I would say, get yourselves an SCX24. You have customer service, you have modifications, and you're not trying to figure out if SCX24 parts are going to fit on this. With the SCX24, there are lots of modifications out there, a lot of things that you can do with it without thinking, is it gonna work? Or is it not so honestly guys save your money saves yourselves a headache just get the SCX 24 don't even bother with these two that's why I made this video so you guys can see if it is worth getting these and I will honestly say no so with that being said hit that like button subscribe I will see you guys in another video you all keep our seeing have a good one